you know, we're, we're going to ask ourselves the question, you know, is, is life just a simulation? I'm going to go out on a limb and say, yes, it is. <laughs> I, I'm starting to lean that way myself, to be <laughs> honest Things are you. just a little too nuts, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I mean... <sighs> <laughs> well, it's a crazy thought that we could possibly be hopping through different parallels, you know, with changes being made with every choice we make as we go. So first off, you know, what, what, do, we, what do we mean by this whole simulation theory? I don't know there. Well, in simple terms, right, is the hypothesis that reality as we know it isn't the base reality. Could be an artificial simulation. You know, just like a super advanced computer program. Artificially. I know it does. Oh, no. But think the majors, where humans lived in a simulated world without even knowing it, right? Uh, the idea has been around in philosophy for since Plato. No shit. Yeah. No shit. Uh, wow. One the time. Yeah. I used to play with Play-Doh. <laughs> Not that kind of one. Oh, good. <laughs> but, you know, it, it got a modern reboot in 2003 with uh, Professor Nick Us. Bolstrom. And he wrote a famous paper laying out three possibilities. Nah, I mean, what would those be? I will tell you. <laughs> so, one, almost every civilization in the universe goes extinct before developing the tech to run ancestor simulations. <laughs> That's interesting. It's an interesting theory. Number two would be advanced civilizations could run simulations. Wow, see that ten times. <laughs> but, <laughs> but for some reason, choose not to. Maybe they find it, you know, like ethical or just pointless. Yeah. I, I think with that one, you have to decide where you begin mm. you know because everybody has to be on board everybody has to be put in that trance yeah yeah you know uh, somehow that's a good point <laughs> well and not to throw a wrench into it but if one of two are false then we're almost certainly living in a simulation. <laughs> so, so the third one is the real kicker isn't it yeah i'm dead yeah so, in Bostrom, he leans towards that. Basically, if some advanced beings out there can, can run billions of detailed word simulations, then statistically, it's way more likely we're inside one of those uh, than, than in one original real universe. 